between you and me, right where you are right in this moment, is exactly where you were meant to be. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to the Joygasmic Life Podcast. I am your hostess, Elena Harder. This is a mini episode designed to give you a taste of what is available in our larger full interviews, as well as what we get into in the deeper version of our membership, where we have full video, bonus courses with our interviewees, and of course, our weekly calls where we support each other mom to mom. We'd love to have you as part of the Joygasmic Life membership. We're deceived. I mean, this is a, an attack on the mother-child yeah. relationship as well, because once the boy is traumatized at birth, he can't bond as well to the mother. His breastfeeding is going to be interfered with. It, and the mother has been fooled into, tricked into allowing an attack on the baby that she just created. And most mothers don't want that. And if they knew the truth, they would never say yes. Because they love their babies. I mean, they, you know, it's the, the mother child relationship is so crucial for the healthy child, for, for the, for the healthy, yeah. the child, for the mother, for the whole society. I mean, that love and trust and goodness and nourishment and just connection is the basis of a loving, caring society. And look how we fail as a society over and over again, the gun violence and all of the horrible things that we've that have flourished in America. Terrible things. Jim Crow, the mistreatment of, of minorities, this this all this violence. Why is it happening? What what's the root of it? I, the uh, genital mutilation, I believe, I mean, I can't say it's for everything, it's everything, but I think it's a huge part of why there's so much violence, so much trouble and trauma in our country. And the sooner we put it behind us, the better off we're all going to be. Oh, yeah, I mean, when we think about how important that immediate mom son bonding mom baby bonding is right that that glory hour that hour after birth where the body's pumping oxytocin like it's never never pumped before except unless you've given birth once before right but for the baby first time ever flooding it's understanding what love means and often these procedures are performed in that first hour which means that the bonding of the baby is now bonded or completely truncated is now bonded to pain, suffering, anguish, loneliness, like trauma. You're just like, what does that do to a person as a human being? Yikes. <clears throat> Yikes. And yeah, I can totally see how that would ripple out into, you know, I, I think all of the problems facing the world right now are rooted in childhood trauma in some way, shape or form. When we trace it back and, you know, if we look at men who don't feel comfortable to talk, speak up for themselves against, you know, other men in authority who are strong arming them, who are doing the wrong things. If we look at, um, you know, men mistreating women, it's like if they're carrying a high trauma load, it's like hurt people, hurt people. It's until we undo that root source, it's going to be, it's really hard to undo it as a, as a larger culture. And that's part of why we're having this challenging conversation. Part of why we're like, okay, we're going to look at this, right? Because when you look at it, it goes like, who the heck would do that? Like, why would you do that? So can we dive in a little bit to some of the, like we talked a little bit about doctors or nurses are pressuring. Would you like it today or tomorrow? Um, can we talk a little bit about the social pressure and, and what's going on there and maybe some ways to combat that? Right. There are you're nothing is going to happen to my baby. No one's cutting any part of it, any part of his body off. Um, that's just not going to happen. So end of subject. And um, hopefully that'll defer, take, uh, take care of the grandparents. We've ha heard stories of grandparents actually abducting the child and cutting him on their own. <laughs> I mean, this is a, that's so, like that's like that's like serious ancestral trauma, right? So when we look at that from a sort of shamanic 
uh, family, fam family constellation trauma. That's like, that literally happened to somebody up the family line. It's in the family line and it's trying to resolve. And every generation it comes forward and the opportunities there to resolve it. And literally as the mother, as the father of this child, my my belief is that it's our responsibility to go, dear past wounding, no thank you. We love and accept that you got us to where we are, but we are absolutely not participating in these barbaric rituals, these ha habits of being, this neglect, this abuse, this like whatever it is, like whatever the pattern is. This is obviously a big one that's like very impactful um, and that people feel really strongly about. But whatever it is, it's just like, no, that's not what we're doing in our family. In the same way that like I was never hit as a child, but my parents were like, we're just saying no. We're just saying like, it's not happening. You break not the happening. cycle of abuse. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like every other kind of child abuse, often the abused goes up to be an abuser. The only way to, to you, yeah. the only way to stop that is they have to become aware of the issue. They have to become aware. And when they do, then they say, well, no, I don't want to continue this. This is terrible. And yeah. and we've taught we've heard from dads who started out really adamant. Oh, my boy is going to look like me. I'm going to. Well, of course, you're going to cut my boy. And then the the mom just talks him out of it and says, you know, you, if you try that and you're out, I'm going to divorce you if you try that. And uh, eventually, the dad comes right. around and says, wait a minute, this shouldn't have happened to me. I I had the right to my own body. I I'm missing something that I should have had to enrich my life. And that was a trauma that was unfair to me. And I have to grieve that loss. But I'm absolutely not going to let, let this happen to my son. So it is mm -hmm. possible to break the cycle of abuse. It isn't always, you know, you don't usually it don't always do it on the first pass, you have to. I mean, what, what I'm saying is that it's going to take often some convincing to take to turn an adamant dad around and say, No, this is not going to happen, period. And some yeah. moms yeah. don't have that inner strength. But uh, you know, find it if you can, because it's, it's, yeah. it's your boy, it's your child that needs you. It, your, your child's going to need you to stand up yeah. for him or her throughout, you know, throughout, throughout their whole life. And even yeah, and later. Yeah. And so it's like get used to it. This is what you signed up for. <laughs> so and yeah. you're strong enough. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you have the inner strength. The mom's, you know, with the mama bear, the inner strength is there. There's so much more for you over in the Joygasmic Life membership. Become a bulletproof mom with us. Learn the tips and tricks and skills you need to recover from your postpartum mental health journey and learn the tools of joygasmic alchemy so you can have the kind of birth you've been dreaming of.